Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. Arvi Kuswaha, Associate Professor in the Division of Veterinary Complex at FBSCNA, Scotch Jammu, Arasura. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Veterinary Surgery and Radiology Education. And if you are new to the channel, so kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for further notification. So today I am going to tell you about the different side of intramuscular injection in dog. So there are four sides for the intramuscular injection. So one is the this the most important is the, this caudal thigh area, then the this lumbar area here, and this one is the this caudal area of the this forehead. So now we demonstrate one by one. So to give the injection here, so here is basically uh, if you remember the anatomy. So this is the femur bone. This one, this is the gator progenitor. This is the femur bone, sap of the femur, and this is the distal end of the femur bone. So cranial to this bone. So there is a one muscle. This is called the vastus lateralis, and caudal to this biceps femoris, and then semi membranosus muscles and semi tendinosus muscle. So these two muscles are basically site for the injection, intramuscular injection. So in these two muscles, we could give the intramuscular injection. So normally we give the not in the very quarter, we normally give the hair. So the it is not like that ki you take the needle and pierce like this. So first to give the intramuscular injection here in this muscle. So keep your the non-working hand part to the left one because I am right-hander. So you keep the, this thumb just at the caudal surface of the this femur so that you can avoid the piercing in the sciatic nerve because sciatic nerve runs just caudal to the this femur bone. So now you could see there is a little bit whatever the muscles is here it is raised. So now you take the this is the butorphenol injection. So now whenever you inject so injection is not like that you inject here inject here try to inject in between okay. and whenever you insert the this needle so insertion is always is facing towards caudal side like this and then if you, you want to you can say withdraw then withdraw otherwise you simply inject like this so this is the how we can give the intramuscular injection in the semi membranous or semi so to inject the drug in the this area that is the semi membranous muscles so one approach is you just go like this but in the same muscles you can also inject from here so some of the uh, clinician they inject uh, the needle from here like this so that is basically also you can say go up to the this level so either you go flying this or like this which will go here so this is the another approach sometimes they give like this so that is also uh, okay in thigh region you can also give injection in the vastus lateralis muscles so this vastus lateralis muscles is just cranial to the this shaft of the femur so you just put the thumb like this and inject like this so here you should not direct cordially here the you can like this but here if the volume of injection is very small like 1 ml or 2 ml so it is better to give here otherwise normally we give in the this area which is the most common side for the intramuscular injection in the dog and in dog you can inject intramuscularly 5 ml at one side suppose if the amount of drug to be injected is more than the 5 ml then you divide the drug into the two equal halves and then give at the two side so now this is about the intramuscular injection in the thigh region. Now coming to this fourth limb. So in fourth limb, so again anatomy. So this is the humerus bone. So this is the greater tubercle and this is the distal. And caudal to the, this one here, the, this is the lateral head of the uh, triceps. So here one important nerve is running from the middle limb here, radial nerve and crosses at the musculospinal groove laterally and then it supply the this extensor muscles of the radius so it means we avoid to pricking in the this area so for that again you just keep the thumb of the your left hand and here it is the purpose of keeping this just to avoid the accidental injury to the radial nerve and then again if the volume is less then you can pierce like this here again in the caudal direction and then in this area 
give the injection in this area. So this is the injection site in the forelimb, particularly in the lateral head of the triceps. So this is the third one. Now the fourth one uh, for intramuscular injection is lumbar muscle. So this is the vertebral column here. This is the vertebral column. On either side of the vertebral column, this muscle is the, this is the lumbar muscles. So you can give directly here in the lumbar muscle and very close to the, this vertebral column here, here, here. So, but here again the volume of injection should be less. This area is also for the subcuticular injection, but here in terms of injection you can also give the intramuscular of injection. So this is all about the different sides of the intramuscular of injection in case of the dog. So thank you for watching this video and if you like uh, this video so kindly share with your friends and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed. Thank you very much.